Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumatograph for a press ride to Minecraft 115. This episode, as you can see, we're going to get into high pressure. High pressure gives us the advantage we can charge up the drones and the, the tools up to its max pressure, which is 10 bar. So we're going to make a high, two high pressure compressors. Uh, advanced PCB, so we can control things with a lot less redstone. A large tank, and then we're going to drill for some oil. But also I'd like to make a redstone module, because well, I'm going to play with those between episodes. So let's get started. But the first thing I'm going to do is probably reuse one of these compressors because I'm, I'm going to upgrade this compressor anyway so let's do that it says it's leaking but it's not so the first of all we're going to do is just shift click it away I think <laughs> I'm probably doing this twice so we can get good actually I do want that back on there but I need to replace this piece of pipe because so let's just remove this we need to replace this piece of pipe with advanced pipe once we've started to do this stuff so let's go and make put this down and I need to take the upgrade out otherwise I'll lose the upgrades and I would I prefer not to do that so let's just put the charging station down here of course the charging station will lose air when it do this so we've got all of these in here it'll lose it I don't need to take the uh, charging station away really oh wrong one what am I doing oh I think I just had a brain fart there that's what what I should be doing <laughs> is to put this place this piece of pipe here so let's just put the charging station down again and replace this piece of pipe so what we need is the high pressure tubing which we've got advanced pressure tubing replace this one and then we can put the advanced pressure tubing on here like that put it on the ground as it happens and then we can use put back onto here the safety module which this time instead of having um four bar it'll have a it'll have a a 19.9 .9 bar you see that actually cut that off as well limit and we can also put down this pressure tube gauge module again we have a well it's gone to the crafting area so a limited different red zone and what we're going to do with this is we're going to put an advanced pcb on it so if you now look at this one it says now the threshold is 19.9 .9 bar and these always have, I think their threshold is 25 bar for the charging, st oh, 20 bar for the charging station. So what we'll do is we'll get this charging up to about 15 bar and then we also need to cool it down because when we get to advanced, things get hot. So we need to cool things down. Now let's, we'll, we'll make some of those as well. We need to make quite a few heat sinks. So let's get started with the upgrade of the of the compressor. Obviously it's got an upgrade, it'll have a It'll lose those anyway, so I didn't really care about that. And I didn't put those back in again. So we can use this one for us to upgrade it. And it's not very difficult, so all we need to do now is let's just have a look at the uses of this. And you'll see we can make these ones. Thermal presser, well, we can going to do simply do the advanced air compressor like this. We're going to go and put that down again, and then go and put down also at the same time the. Uh, install the upgrades into here again now you'll notice in here i have both speed upgrades and uh the safety tube module. and that's really actually really handy so let's just put this down here so that should then link in good so what we're going to do i'm going to split the speed upgrades into two so we put one of those in there like that one in here the reason f and i wanted the four in here to actually because that's going to produce enough oh no no thinking about it it produces too much heat maybe one's enough so we can put the rest of those into here like that we can put the dispenser unit and the volume upgrades in here which will then give it more capacity so it doesn't flash on and off so frequently i probably need to change the redstone signal to charging which is already done so that's good because i didn't upgrade that so now of course it's got no fuel but before we set this going i would like to make the next part of this and that's the advanced pcb we need to get a lot more oil by the way because i'm running out of oil very rapidly collector oh. just flew out and there that's interesting i wonder where it came, went, came from so right now what did i say i wanted i wanted to make the um advanced pcb 
So in order to do the advanced PCB, we just have a look at the uses of the PCB here. And all it is is this one. So we just need four pieces of redstone and a PCB. Actually, I might have run out of PCBs thinking about it. Yeah, I have run out of PCBs. So we need to make some more PCBs. Ooh, I'm going to take four pieces of redstone out of here, don't I? I'm probably going to make two PCBs two PCBs anyway. So this time we can use the um, assembly controller to make the, P the empty PCBs into unassembled PCBs. So we can do it this way. We never need to use the etching tank again as it happens. So all we need to do is to make one of these which is made in the pressure chamber. One piece of plastic, three pieces of uh, gold nuggets and two redstone torches. So let's take out six of these redstone torches. I'm not seeing any, so we needed two, didn't we? So we'll make four. Let's make up those quickly. What else did I need for that? I think there's one more, one more thing I need. Plastic, so we need two pieces of plastic sheet. And I don't have any in there. Oh, and it's night time. I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a second. Any mobs around? One behind me, actually. Underneath, though. That's strange. Don't expect to see one there. Oh, maybe that's a, a zombie pigman. Right, okay. So I need to make, to make some more of these. I've got that plastic. I'm not sure if I've got any more plastic. If I have, it'll be in this chest over here. No more plastic. Okay, then I'm going to have to. I think I got a duplication bug as well because I've got two. Um, I only made three of these and I got six. I've also got a second watering can, so I'm not sure what caused that. The so plastic sheet I hope would be in. No, nah, it's not here. I don't think I've got any plastic sheet around. Okay, I'm going to have to make some more plastic. Now I think that we have enough. That's lubricant. Thirty-three LPG, so we can make enough plastic in here. That's good. So let's just turn this on. Oh, I did also insulate these in case. I think I forgot to do that once. So that's heating up nicely, as you can see. It starts to make this, and we should start to get plastic in here. Now that I've got a small empty fluid tank in there which I can use to take the plastic out of here. Now you see the drone just came along and filled this up with 10 pieces of charcoal. Logistics drone. So what have we got in here now? 8 buckets worth. This is uh, easier because we can then... I need to go move this again because I... Oh, no it's here now isn't it? And I'm not sure about the, the thermal compressor. I made a thermal compressor. If we can get that out of that, we've got in there now. 21 buckets of stuff. How we're we doing for stuff in here? We've got seven to go. So we've probably got enough as it happens. But what I would like to do is to make a large tank. The reason I'd like to make a large tank, yes, we've got 30 buckets in here now. So we can then turn this off. Come along here and turn this on. I just noticed a lot, a lot of lag. I see there's a mob that was got ground there. Let's just what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this again. It's partly because I don't understand it's f it fully, but it basically produces, as you can see, it's got different temperatures here. And when it's off, which it should be, let's have a look, I've got the redstone control. It's enabled on a high signal, so we only need to disable it, because I think that's on. And then it'll increase the pressure here rapidly between the two. And what that'll do is then store heat. So let's get this thing running. Get off this, otherwise it's probably going to get some cold. Put this down around about here. And as you notice, the lag was just horrendous. Now let's just take these two buckets out of here. Put them into here. And hope that we get lots of plastic from those. We have, good. Try again. I've got enough plastic now, but I'm going to make some more and I'll see you in a few seconds. 
So I've got about 60 odd pieces of plastic there. You'll see this is going up. a nice high temperature difference between these two. So what we can then do is we should be able to turn this on. Oh, try again. And it should generate a lot of compressed air. And it will reduce the temperature. <clears throat> As you can see, the temperature difference is going down now. Uh, it's scaling better than it used to be. So in fact, it looks all right now. Before it was, they were about the same, so you couldn't see any temperature difference between the two and that should push the pressure up in here as you can see the pressure is going up reasonably quickly uh, and I was expecting to see an output signal from here but it's emitting zero <clears throat> the other way around it will actually emit so you then have to turn it off and you can see this has actually got hot <laughs> so this tank is now hot we can actually cook with this top because this is actually um, generating the heat out from here is getting transferred across. Teleporting drones seem to be busy teleporting around. So this is the other area I'm going to upgrade to high pressure. So now we've got the plastic we can make the redstone module. Yeah there must have been there must have been a zombie pigman around here. <laughs> so now what do we need to make? I need to make oh it's plastic didn't I need to make the um, the unassembled PCBs. At the same time, I need also need to make um, some capacitors and some. Let's put in two of these. Two, 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 and what's it? Four or eight? I think I must have got. I've forgotten. Let's have a look quickly. Empty PCBs. None, I said tuppence. All right, <laughs> take those out of that. Resident torches it needed. Uh, what was I going to make with these? I've forgotten, to be honest with you. But anyway, oh, yes, I know what I wanted to make with those. I wanted to make the. Um, we've got 12 of those, so we've got six empty PCBs. This is actually a recipe. No, that's the usage. Let's look at the recipe. Okay. I'll get three per. Oh yes, of course. So what we can then simply do is take these along into here, and then we don't put them into the input side, of course, like here. And these will slowly get made across. But we should be able to use some of the speed upgrades. Let's just do that. I've got five in here. So I'll take out two and just put those into here. I think I'm remove them before to do something else but anyway it's no pressure <laughs> no pressure to do anything here because we can make other stuff in the meantime and what we need to make are the transistors and the capacitors and I got a serious amount of lag now seven frames per second I don't know why so <clears throat> what we can also do is make a medium I've got a medium sized tank here and the uses of these we can make two diamonds one advanced pressure tube four pieces of plastic we can make a large tank on to do that and the reason I want to do that is because how many diamonds have we got in here oh three two is I want to go drilling for oil and most of the time the oil ones have, have got um, about 120 buckets so this will then produce a 120 bucket tank 128 bucket tank so look at sort of that and click it into here like this so we now have a large tank. I get no, I didn't get a recipe upgrade for that one. Um, and you can tell that it says 128, which is about enough to do to drill for oil. So now what I'm trying to do is to make some capacitors. Frames a bit, it's a bit slow. So what we need to do next is we need to make. Um, Two transistors. No, we need we need four transistors. So we need twelve pieces of twelve gold nuggets, four redstone, and four pieces of plastic. And then here we need another eight. So we need twenty gold nuggets, uh, four slime balls, and four pieces of plastic. So we need eight pieces of plastic in total. Yes, that's right. So eight pieces of plastic, we've got plenty of plastic at the moment. So we just need some slime balls and some gold nuggets. And we needed 20 gold nuggets, didn't we? So we need half of those. 
like that. 39 divided by 2 is actually always rounds up. So slime ball, I might have some slime balls around here. I've got some essence, there we are. I don't remember if I've showed you that, uh, to be honest with you. Let's get rid of that. Got too many. So I'll have a quick sleep and I'll see you in a second. As you can see, the lag's hurting at the moment. <laughs> it's particularly bad out here. I'm not quite sure. It's not the drones anymore. I don't think it's the drones. So let's put all of these in here. So I needed eight pieces of plastic. <laughs> That might have been close. Where is he? Yeah, they were about to attack me, but then the drone sorted them out for me. Great. Oh, horrendous. So while, so while I'm doing this, I'm just going to break up this pipe underneath here like this. I'm going to remove all of this piping, and I'll be back in a second when I've removed it all, because I'm going to remove all of this stuff out here and move it back a little bit so we have a separate charging station which is running on high pressure so i'll see you in a second so we should have enough um redstone here for capacitors i'll take those out as well um i'm going to put this new charging station down here it's going to be a bit cramped but i think we can deal with it so what i want to just put it down here like that and then it links all of this stuff together that's high pressure tube so all of these will be charging up this drone has obviously got not enough fuel at the moment and it'll teleport over to the other side to get some more to recharge itself as you can just see it just went psh. so what i want to do now is to get some fuel into this one but we also have to do some smart stuff so what do we need to do smart stuff i needed to make some um heat pipes if I, I think i've already made heat pipes yes good we can use heat pipes or we can use blocks of compressed iron i'm going to put one heat pipe on top of this like this because one um like that it joins into that but obviously it's not going to lose any heat from this so we're going to have to make some heat sinks um while I'm going to do that, let's just charge this up a bit. I'm not sure how many pieces I'm going to put in, put in four to start with, and see how much pressure that generates. I also need to make a security upgrade and some, probably just a security upgrade for that matter. So I'll be back in a second with a security upgrade, and these can then charge up reasonably well. I think this one's going to charge up here because it's looking a bit 1.5 bar. Yes, it's charging good. So I'll see you in a second with some more bits and pieces. Right, I'll just get the unassembled PCBs from the controller. That was fine, I could do that no problem whatsoever. And I'm going to just make up um, the advanced PCB now. So it's fairly straightforward once we've got the, the bits. I found some more plastic as well. I've got I found another 17 pieces of plastic, which is great because that's one of the essential things we need. I just need the um, transistors, don't I? Hopefully I've got enough in space in there. So let's have a look at the use of these. It's probably only one usage. So we should be able to make two. Great. And then the uses of these. I th I've taken the redstone out of my inventory because I, I double clicked something, didn't I? Let's go and put the uses of these now. Lots of uses, but the one I want is this one. So I'm going to make four of these advanced PCBs and these are really good so I also wanted to make an upgrade didn't I so let's just have a look at the what do I need for that oh it's obsidian isn't it so my as you see my inventory is horrendously full I don't need that with me let's just move actually let's put that into the into the chest with the, the stuff in it so let's take out four pieces of obsidian and then we should make the security upgrade by using the uses of this as obsidian and then we should be able to do this one like that and then we can put that into here and then it would of course blow up and of course it's night time again can't believe it i think i was I spent a bit of time messing around see in a second it didn't take long i could have chatted away couldn't i anyway so now what we're going to do is i would like to you'll see the temperature here is 37 degrees that's fine um, problem's got no fuel so what we now need to do and this is the bit where it gets a bit fun so I would like to underneath here I would like to put down 
I might have to go down like this. I'm not sure how far I have to go. Yes, one more block. I'll look through. My inventory's full, so I can't get reach those. I'd like to put down one of these. So let's just put that into position number five by pressing five on it. And then we can put this on there. As you can see, it's in the right place. And then on top of that one, I can put an advanced PCB. We can both see it better from here. Now we can probably reach it better anyway. So then it goes green. It didn't used to go quite so green as it is going now, but that's a much nicer colour, as you can see. Uh, unfortunately, my inventory is a little bit full. I'll tell you what, I'll just empty my inventory out a bit. So with the advanced PCB, what you can do is you can set a level. So let's say emit a redstone signal when it's more than 15 bar, for example. 15 bar. And we don't need to do the advanced one yet. And that we will do later on. So that's going to is no is not emitting anything because the pressure is only two bar. For for example, if I change this to say one bar, like that, then it would actually be emitting a signal of fifteen, as you can see. So what we then do is I would like to put down a piece of redstone in the block below it. Now the block below it is like this. <laughs> it's going to look a bit. It's not going to look perfect, shall we say? So now I can put some redstone signal down, redstone down here, like this, and then bring it out up here, and then I can bring it round and push it back into here. So I just need to fill this area up with some dirt. I've got enough pieces, I think. So all I need to do now is put down a redstone repeater into this place and point it into the into here like this, and then what will happen is we can then simply just join this up so now we've just changed the redstone behavior on this device we haven't put in the, the advanced one yet so the redstone behavior we want to have it on is a high signal which it will so it's emitting a redstone signal when it's I say when it's more than one bar of pressure I wanted to reverse that actually I want to emit it when it's less than one, but I actually want to admit it when it's less than 15. So we'll, we'll, to start with, we'll just do it as um, how much blood pressure it's got 1.65. Yeah, that'll do. So, less than one bar, we can simply just put this around here. So, it's now emitting a signal. So, this is now active on high, it's got no fuel. Let's give it some fuel, and you'll see it soon produce one bar of pressure in here. And then that should go off as it has done, and that will stop burning the fuel. Uh, it has to run out and it won't use any more, which is basically what I wanted to do. As you can see, it's now gone down and off. So let's change this to what we want. I want actually to be less than 15 bar. 15 bar is a decent f amount anyway. So then it's going to power this up until this thing heats. But what's going to happen is the temperature is going to get too hot. So this is where we can either use one of these heat pipe heat pipes basically half the compressed iron as composed compared to um i've got some heat sinks here Com compared to uh i want to show you the errors heat air leak problem with air leak no can't be an air leak here <laughs> there's, no, there's no way for it to go to you'd hear it what does it say probably it says problems yeah it's running at 98 position so you cool the machine down to under 15 degrees so at the moment it's running at 61 degrees easy way to do that is just to put heat heat sinks on it like that that one itself may be enough to cool it down so have a look it's temperature 61 still as you can see in the one pro put it on the other side like this and they should get hot and as you can see the temperature is now dropping down 54 53 and if you need more i'll just put one on the other side of this i can put it on all five sides so now it's 50 degrees and then that should disappear should 48 what's the problem place pipes on on the output side we've got i think that's wrong and i can't see any air leaks and the pressure here is us going up as you can see fantastic so these have all got five speed upgrades in have they all got five in this one's got three tell you what i'll do is i'll pinch i'll have four in each like this and we'll put one so they're all equal 
put one in there and then put one in the compressor itself more than one and you'll find the temperature goes up too too quickly but the pressure should rise up nice and quickly let's have a look what's the pressure doing it's telling me the pressure is here so it's going up fairly quickly like this if the temperature goes above 50 degrees this will get inefficient again so we just put another heat sink on but that's only one way to do it the other way to do it is to use compressed iron blocks and i haven't got any i've not got any compressed iron blocks i've only got seven pieces of compressed iron i need to make some more let's just do that three of these won't take very long to make let's put them into here well, in fact i can show the other seven in as well so we'll get those out in a few seconds So we'll go and do that on the other side and we'll also apply the this over there. So these, these drones now are going to charge up to 100%. If I actually get on this, it's not yet high enough. Let's go to the other side and do it over there. In fact, I can go the short way, jump over the fence here. Mine the plants because I don't want to hurt myself and go and charge this one up. I've also noticed I can put the drone in a new place for this one over here. So what we want to do in here is simplify the redstone. And that's what, all we need to do with this one is put in an advanced PCB on this. Set the, do the same thing again. So admit it when it's uh, 15 bar. So 15 bar will say less than. So then we can say this is on a high signal here. So always on high signal and then we can remove all of this redstone we don't need any of it anymore we just use the repeater again well i'll say any of it we need a little bit it only needs to come right onto here like this we put the repeater facing this again and then we can put the redstone down like that and then it'll just simply go into this and then this is set to high high signal and it's got no charcoal in ha huh. Right, I need some charcoal. Why have I not run out of charcoal? Let's go and get some charcoal. That's not going to help with the drones, is it? They're going to be none of these compressors had any charcoal in. Did I? Yeah, I get the charcoal back when it's when it gets dropped. So let's just make some charcoal up. And I'll take a stack of that and then five, feet, eight pieces of coal. I think that's eight. Yes. And then quickly make some charcoal up, and I'll be back in a second. So right, I'm back again. This time I'm going to use a block of compressed iron because we actually have no shortage of iron therefore we have no shortage of compressed iron so I have to shift click it on like that this transfers heat as you can see the temperature of this is rising it should also lose heat so we simply just put on this the heat sinks let's go jump up and oh, I missed that one but I'll try again didn't mess it that time and we can put five heat sinks on around this and that'll keep it nice and cool and the drones can come along and charge themselves up that temperature pressure has reached five bar it's got the speed upgrade in and this temperature is 42 degrees fantastic so while that's all working i'm just going to get some more bits and pieces and i'll be back in a second and what i'd like to do is to set up the um the drill the gas drill to drill up some more oil because it's a big chunk and i'm a bit low on oil so I'll see you in a second. Right, I'm ready. Then you're out of time on this episode, so we'll just do this as quickly as we can. The, the reason I want to show this is because there's one little trick that is well worth noting. Now there's oil around here, so I'm just walking along here, and I know there's oil around about here. There we go. So you can see there's three blocks. So one, two, three, and outside that there was no oil. So no oil, there's just these three blocks here, no oil on that. Oh, that's got oil. No oil found, one, two, three, four, five. So basically the middle is around about here. Let's go in the other direction and see what we get. So there's oil there, no oil there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eight. So we go back four. One, two, three, four. So this is about the right place to put the gas lift. 
Now I've got the last gas left in this in this uh, reinforced tank. So I'm going to put the reinforced tank just down. The reinforced tank, reinforced chest. Sorry. So we're going to put the gas lift down here. Um, and then I can pick up the reinforced tank. Well, first of all, just put down the compressor and some drill pipes we need. And heat sink, I don't need that. I don't know why that's in this chest. Lava buckets aren't any use either in this particular case. So I just need some pipe. So we put it down like this. I th would like to put it down like this. If I can do it. <laughs> I can't move this out of the way and then I can do it okay that obviously had some air in before so let's push this one down here like that so this has got some pressure in it now it also needs some drill pipes so we'll have to make sure we drill pipes in here and you can see it's already drilled down fortunately it's run out of pressure because the mode I would like to set it into is this one here is pump and allow an empty tank we don't want that to happen because what will happen if if it carries on when it's finished the oil it'll drill down and hit either maybe nothing or bedrock or maybe it'll hit lava or water we don't want that to happen so we just simply set this one here so we use this as a filter um it hasn't got any at the moment so probably have to leave it like this and this one here is to retract the drill pipes so all we need to do now is to put let's get rid of this cross block as well put some fuel into this and I would probably want to put a lever beside it as well, just to make sure that we can turn it off. Because it doesn't need very much pressure. And what's this one set to? Always. Let's do it on high, so it turns it off now it's on high. So this should very quickly... Oh, it's already got it in, look, it's already filled up. So let's change the mode on this now to filter. Now it's got an error because it's full. And all we have to do to solve that problem is to put a tank beside it, because I know what the problem it's before we even start like this and this will fill up fairly quickly so this is now still on pressure is fine it's not too bad this is pumping up I guess it's still pumping up yes you can see here and it's leaving one millibucket of oil in here so I'll be back in a second when it's finished this should get to around about 120 buckets so as you can see it's it's one millibucket off whatever it is to it's doing a bucket at a time so i see you in a second so now it's finished we've got 122 buckets i think that's all the buckets there are in there well let's first of all retract the drill pipes um so we can retract the drill pipes because we've got one millibucket in here let's change the motor to retracting drill pipes so that should start to drop these back up again I could also change the mode here to allow has that gone empty oh it's emptied it out so there we should get 122 exactly yes perfect and you can hear it drilling up again so let me just pick up these two things here like this I'm not sure if we've got everything underneath here let's have a look at it again because it shouldn't be take a long what I've actually brought is a broker stack of cobblestone with me just to make sure yes we've got our safety drill pipes back again so now what we're going to do is we're going to lift this all of this stuff up again quickly pick it up and then do the last one is this one but before i do that i'm going to get a bucket of water just in case i need to go down here like that because there's usually a big cave or maybe there's lava at the bottom of this i don't know let's have a look at this In this case it's got water down there so i'm just going to trundle down here and because i can see there's water directly below us so that was very useful that we didn't drop like that so yeah there's two more blo blocks here so let's put some torches down so mobs don't spawn i press f7 you can see where they're going to spawn this one over an area over here well that's right doesn't look like there's very much in terms of just a little cave this one that's some, an area up here that also maybe just prevent anything spawning and I heard it okay there's nothing around it in that so we've got these two buckets uh, so what I'm going to do is I've got this bucket of water in case I need to drop it down I'll just put this down here now and there's probably two buckets worth of oil so let's put down the tank here we can just finish off this 
because oil is sort of valuable. Let's take that one, put it in there, and take this one, put it in there. So now we've cleared out this area without a doubt. So we can simply go up again. So all we need to do, of course, is pillar up with our cobblestone. I think it's here, isn't it? Let's just put it here. Yep. So just pillar up. Until I get to the top. There's quite a few mobs around, but I think those are, yes. Oops, too far. So let's remove this one here and put back a piece of dirt. And of course, then you take the um, seismic sensor here, and you should be able to right click this on any of these blocks, and you'll find there's no oil found. So then this basically means it's working as you, uh, in real time, so to speak. So as you drilled up one block, it's done that for you. Let's get, put that down there. And we've got our stuff. And there we are. So there's a few tricks for the um, for oil. So that's what I wanted to show you as a quick final thing. But I haven't made a redstone module. I'd like to make a redstone module. Let's just turn off this nonsense with you before I do anything else. Because I would like to see what some good example uses of it are. So let's just make one of those. It doesn't take, it's fairly cheap. I think it needs to obviously probably need some redstone. I don't need the flower, I'll move that in there for the time being. Um, a rose, let's have a look. Um, redstone module is this one. We can craft it up straight away. Great. Um, and this one here transmits redstone signals uh, on connected tubes, whether it doesn't matter whether they're, and we can right click it to set the channel. And we can upgrade it for an advanced with an advanced PCB. So we'll have a look at that next time, I think. So I've now got plenty of oil in here. Let's go and just put this oil into the refinery so we can start to make some more lubricants and whatever else. A little bit of lag as well. I should have put that on there and then put that on there, shouldn't I? So it's fill it up. Is that filled it up? It doesn't look like it's filled it up. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. It's filling up. I just need to get the right tool, right? Yeah, it's filling up nicely, as you can see. And this didn't empty out much. It's night time, but we've got to high pressure here. So let's finish with that, shall we? Well, that's it for this episode. Next episode, I think it's time to do some armour. We've done the weapons there aren't very many tools in um, pneumatic craft repressurized except for the ones with the, the wrenches and the like so anyway until next time i wish you all the best bye for now